Good morning. Hey, boo, hey, y'all. So, I live in North Carolina. And uh, this mompreneur, okay. Let's pause back up. Good morning. Hey, boo, hey. This is Ebony, your favorite mompreneur, okay? Because I'm just me. Oh, um, no, um, all jokes aside, I am a mompreneur, okay? So, with me being a mompreneur, and this weather changing, baby, we gotta take care of this household. Okay? So, with taking care of this household, I'm making my own elderberry syrup. Um, you see, you hear I got a little sniffles going on. We ain't about to do that. I'm actually ready to start burning my oils, too, to help loosen up everything. So, the oils that I use to help with my sinuses, y'all, go get you some, okay? Um, I use lavender, tea tree, eucalyptus and peppermint um i'm actually out of my tea tree and peppermint and i was just in the store yesterday right for me. but um i have my lavender and i incorporated um frankincense too but um yeah i have those oils going right now and back to this elderberry syrup okay so i use some honey ginger or some dried ginger root you can buy the ginger root from the store regular and just chop it up to clove elderberry pork elderberry syrup and cinnamon i mean personally i try to get everything from deep root y'all know that's my little stuff for my bean salad i start from deep roots because I could buy it in little bags like this. See, it has a number on there. And then it's like a dollar sixty-eight per pound, I think. But anywho, I normally spend about uh, fifty cent to a dollar on getting certain items. The clove and the elderberry, I can get a lot more for the same amount of money I get for the cinnamon sticks. But cinnamon weighs more. All right, y'all. So. The reason why I use the products, well not the products, the herbs that I use to make my elderberry tea to serve. So you use local honey because the local honey helps with your allergies because it helps build up the immunity to your allergies that, you know, that's local. Okay. Ginger root, ginger period. Okay. Um, I don't know if your grandma and him have ever said, uh, just drink some ginger and lay down. But it was some truth to that. The truth to that is the fact that ginger is, it has so many healing properties for the body. All right, so let me just interject real quick, okay? So the benefits of ginger is amazing. So yeah, I had to research and write it down for you so I can make sure I tell you right, okay? But the benefits of ginger is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, which means it helps decrease wrinkles, okay? It reduces nausea. It helps with weight loss. It helps reduce osteoarthritis symptoms. Let me see. It's an anti-diabetic. It has anti-diabetic properties. It's shown to lower blood sugar. It helps reduce menstrual cramps. Um, it lowers bad cholesterol. Help improve brain function. Hello, we gotta make sure we stay on it. Lowers the risk of infection. Okay. Elderberry. It's not what you take when you're sick. It's what you take to boost your immune system, okay? But the clove and cinnamon has healing properties as well, okay? It's beneficial to the liver and it helps regulate blood sugar, all right? It's uh, antioxidant once again, you know what I'm saying? Take care of that skin, all right? Take care of that body, get rid of those free radicals. The benefits of cinnamon. Cinnamon is an antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory, it helps lower blood sugar, and it's beneficial with fighting against various infections, okay? Okay? It is cold and flu season, people. We need that, okay? And it's antiviral. That means it's going to help against any viral infection, so. And with boosting the immune system, oh, we in there. We in there. I don't need to know all the properties, okay? Um, I don't need to know all the benefits, okay? So, I just try not to sneeze, cough too many times around folks, okay? Especially when I'm doing hair and makeup. 
but this is everything boiling together. You see the turmeric in there, and I do have a little bit of ground pepper mixed in with my turmeric. Um, I don't know if you can really see it in there. Oh yeah, those little black specks. That's the ground pepper, because the ground pepper helps the turmeric. Your body better absorb the turmeric. So, have that all mixed in here. And then I have, I have some local honey that's left. And so I will be, no, this is just a little bit in here. So I'm gonna be mixing this um, in there and stirring it up, shaking it up, okay? And then that's gonna be my elderberry syrup, okay?